वेलकम टू द थर्ड पार्ट और द फाइनल पार्ट ऑफ द लेक्चर इन्वॉल्विंग सम हायर लेवल ऑफ क्वेश्चंस ऑन द परम्यूटेशन दिस इज द नाइन्थ लेक्चर अंडर द परम्यूटेशन सीरीज सो विदाउट टेकिंग एनी फर्दर टाइम डायरेक्टली लेट्स स्टार्ट विद दिस लेक्चर आवर क्वेश्चन इज इन हाउ मेनी वेज फोर वुमेन एंड फोर मैन कैन बी सीटेड एट ए राउंड टेबल इफ फर्स्ट देयर इज नो रिस्ट्रिक्शन सेकेंड ऑल द फोर मैन सेट टूगेदर third all the four men do not sit together fourth no two men sit together this is the question pause the video and try to solve this question on your own let's approach this question in this question we are having a round table and we are having four women and four men and we have to arrange these four men and four women around this circular table in different four condition that is given in the question okay we will go one by one in the first condition it is given there is no restriction means we are having totally freedom means where these four women and four men can sit around this circular table so we are having total eight people that is four women plus four men that is total eight people and we are having eight slot around this circular table so firstly here the circular permutation will be applicable okay we are having a circular table so here circular permutation will be applicable so n will be equal to 8 so our circular permutation it is n minus 1 factorial that is 8 minus 1 factorial which is 7 factorial so in 7 factorial way we can arrange four women and four men around this circular table got it that is the answer of the first part let's check the second part the condition is given all the four men sit together in this condition all the four men should sit together so let's give this four slot to the four men okay the four men should sit together so the remaining four slot will go to the four women this slot for the four men and this slot for the four women one thing i am again repeating don't be confused if the four men choose this four slot or this four slot or this four slot this is a circular permutation so all this slot will come under the circular permutation that is all this slots will be same okay if we rotate all the slot by one position in clockwise or anti clockwise position in the circular permutation those arrangements are same so let's give this four slot for the men and these four slot for the women so firstly let's see in how many ways we can arrange the four women these four men should sit together okay so let's assume these four men as a single block or as a single person the same thing we have done in the case of the vowel where we have to club the vowels as together that is consider a set of letters as a single letter or as a single block here we will consider these four men as a single block so how many slots we can form totally we got five slot these four women and this single complete block okay so we got n equal to 5 i understand that these four people are totally different four people but for this condition we have consider these four people as a single slot or as a single block so we got n equal to 5 so our circular permutation will be equal to n minus 1 factorial that is 5 minus 1 factorial which is 4 factorial okay so we can arrange this five slot in total four factorial arrangement and among this four men or under this complete block we can rearrange the four men in total four factorial way okay we are having four men and it is a single block and within this block we can arrange the four men in n factorial way n equal to 4 that is four slot so we can arrange the four men in total four factorial way okay in totality we can arrange the complete term in four factorial way and within this block we can arrange the men in total four factorial way so our answer will be 4 factorial into 4 factorial okay that is the answer of the second part that is when all the four men sit together we can form total 4 factorial into 4 factorial arrangement we are not solving for 4 factorial just the answer is 4 factorial into 4 factorial further let's go to the third part that is when all the four men do not sit together 
there is some conflict and all these four men decided that they will not sit together okay so what will be the various number of arrangement in the first part we have seen the total number of arrangement that we can form irrespective of no condition is 7 factorial in the second part we have seen when all the four men are together we can form total 4 factorial into 4 factorial arrangement so the cases when all the men do not sit together will be equal to the total number of cases minus the cases when the four men are sitting together getting this concept the number of cases when the men are not together will be equal to total cases minus the cases when they are together that will be equal to 7 factorial minus 4 factorial into 4 factorial got it this will be the cases when the four men decided not to sit together okay let's take the fourth part here no two men sit together this is the condition that is given so what is the arrangement that we can form we can place the four men at this position by doing so no two men will sit next to each other okay got it and the rest position will go to the four women so this arrangement we can form using the four men and four women when no two men sit together firstly let's see in how many ways we can arrange the four men at these four positions that we can do in total n minus 1 factorial way that is 4 minus 1 that is 3 factorial way so we can arrange the four men in 3 factorial way let's further see in how many ways we can arrange the four women in these four positions okay that is n equal to 4 and r equal to 4 we are having four women and we are having four slot that will be equal to 4 factorial here the circle permutation in the case of women will not be applicable because we have already fixed the position of the men so these four women will come under the part of the normal permutation that is 4 factorial okay we are having 4 slot and we are having 4 women that can be arranged in total 4 factorial way the detail we have already covered in the previous part in the circular permutation part so those who are having any confusion they can go to the circular permutation lecture and again revise this concept so our total answer or the total arrangement will be equal to the arrangement of men and the arrangement of women. That will be 3 factorial into 4 factorial. That is the answer of the question. Got it? One thing that I want to point out is that some may be confused that there is no difference between the third and the fourth part. That is in the third part it is given all the four men do not sit together. In the fourth part, it is given no two men sit together. There is a huge difference between both these cases. In the third part, all the four men do not sit together. Means the three men can sit together or the two men can sit together. But in the fourth part, no men should sit together. Okay, are you able to observe the difference? So you have to observe the question carefully while dealing with the approach to solve this question okay observing the question is very much the wording of the question in the case of permutation probability and the combination is very important so that's it for this question let's move to the next question the question is find the sum of all the numbers that can be formed with the digit 2 3 4 and 5 taken all at a time pause the video and try to solve this question on your own okay let's approach this question here we have to form the number using the digit 2 3 4 5 taken all at a time means we are having four number and we are having four slot so how many numbers we can form we can form total four factorial arrangements that will be equal to 24 so basically we can form the 24 different arrangement and in this question we have to find the sum of all the 24 number so let's see how to approach this question okay suppose we put the number 2 in the last digit so how many different arrangement we can form basically we are finding all those numbers out of this 24 number which are having the number 2 in the last digit okay so if you are having number 2 in the last digit we are having the input number as 3 4 and 5 okay 3 input 3 slot so we can form total 3 factorial that is total 6 arrangements when the number 2 is at the last slot. The number 2 is at the last slot for the different 6 numbers. 
so out of this 24 numbers there are 6 numbers which are ending with 2 similarly we can find there are 6 numbers which are ending at 3 there are 6 numbers which are ending at 4 and there are 6 numbers which are ending at 5 okay 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6 that is 24 okay similarly we can say there are 6 numbers which are having the unit 2 at the 10th place and there are 6 numbers which are having the digit 3 at the 10th place there are 6 numbers which are having the digit 4 at the 10th place similarly there are 6 numbers which are having the digit 5 at the 10th place okay total there are 24 arrangement in the same line we can say for the 100th place and also for the 1000th place okay so what we have done we have found the digits that will come at the units 10s, 100s and the 1000th place and we have to find the sum of all these digits so what approach we will use we will individually find the sum at the units 10s, 100s and the 1000th place and we will simply add them to get our answer okay got it this is the approach we will use we will find the sum of the digits at the unit place then we will find the sum of the digit at the 10th place then we will find the sum of the digits at the 100th place and finally the sum of the digits at the 1000th place adding all these we will get our answer that is the addition of all the 24 numbers got it this is the approach that we will use so firstly let's find the sum of all the digits at the units place so we got all these digits we have to find the sum of all these digit it is having 6 2s 6 3s 6 4s and 6 5s so on adding we got 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 into 6 that is 84 so we got the sum of all the digits at the unit place as 84 got it let's move to the next step that is we will find the sum of all the digits at the 10th place here also the same numbers are repeating that is we are having 6 2s 6 3s 6 4s and 6 5s let's add it we got our answer as 840 here we have to multiply the 84 with 10 because we are talking about the 10th place okay it is 10th place so we have to multiply it by 10 so we got the addition as 840 similarly the same philosophy we can apply for the 100th place that will be equal to 84 into 100 that is 8400 that is 8400 okay same philosophy for the thousand place that will be equal to 84000 84 into 1000 because we are talking about the thousand place let's add all these four numbers we got our answer as 93324 that will be the answer that is the addition of all the 24 numbers okay this is the answer of the question so students we have done with this lecture so that's it for this video hope you have liked the video and you have enjoyed the video apart from this video we are also having a full-fledged course on permutation and combination refer the link in the description for the complete list of the course apart from this course on permutation and combination we also have the course on various other mathematics topic using animation and the visual tool Refer the link in the description for the complete list of the course on the various topics of the mathematics. Okay students, if you like the video, please like, share and subscribe to our channel. So thank you very much for being with Creator Classes. Bye for now.